like a hell cut. <laughs> So next part is to find, so the third part is to find the AC analysis. In AC analysis, we will find the parameter AD. So now the full form of AD means differential gain. So AD means differential gain. Now let look at the circuit. We have input as V1, we got output as VO1. So this is for the MOSFET 1. If I say V2 and VO2, that would be for MOSFET 2. All right. Now when we talk about AC analysis, we have to note some point. So the first point is all the DC voltage would be ground. So this is the DC voltage, this would be ground. Second, we will assume RS as infinity. This means that it would act as short circuit. Alright. So RS would be vanished, DC voltages are ground. So we are left with this circuit now. Now using this circuit, we have to draw the AC analysis model. So let's draw that. You can note that in the left hand side we have G, in the right hand side we have D and at the bottom we have S. Now S and ground are directly connected to each other so means S line and ground line are same. We have to note that from G to S we have one voltage VGS alright and from D to S we have one current flowing that is GM VGS. So that's why in DC analysis we find the term GM so that we can use that in AC analysis. Clear? So let's move in the left hand side. You can note that in the left hand side means here we will have one analog voltage V1. So this is the V1 voltage at the input side. When we talk about the output side, so drain and ground are connected to each other via RD resistance. So drain and ground connected to each other via RD resistance. Alright, and this is output. You can note that at so output is VO1. When we talk about this is for BJ, uh, sorry, this is for MOSFET 1. So when we talk about MOSFET 2, what will happen? Only these voltages will change V2 and VO2. Alright, now let's find the term AD. AD means VO by VD. Now VO are two like MOSFET 1 and MOSFET 2. So what will be, what would be the value VO2 minus VO1 upon VD. So VO is splitted because we have two MOSFET. So VO2 minus VO1. So let's find the value for VO1 right now. So VO1 would be what? VO1 would be you, uh, V is always equal to I into R. So the current flowing here is GM VGS, but it is flowing in the opposite direction. So minus GM VGS into the resistance. So resistance here is RD. Now this is the value of GM VGS RD for VO1. When we talk about VO2, what will happen is we will get minus GM VGS into RD. Same. But then what is the difference between two? The VGS term. You have to note that. Now you have to note that this VGS is the culprit. Why? This VGS is equal to V1. Alright. Now for MOSFET 1, the value of this voltage is VD by 2. So this equation will change to minus GM into VD by 2 into RD. Now let's talk about MOSFET 2. So for MOSFET 2, this VGS would be equal to V2. For the output VO2, the input would be V2. Now when we talk about MOSFET 2, the voltage would be V2 and the respective voltage would be minus VD by 2. That's what I have written here. So for MOSFET 2, the value of V2 would be minus VD by 2. Alright. Now because VGS and V2 are same, the value of VGS would be minus VD by 2. So this value would also be modified to minus VD by 2. So minus GM into minus, so let's say overall it's plus. So GM into VD by 2 into RD. So this is the value of VO2. Now VO2 minus VO1 would be VO. So let's do that. So the third point is VO is VO2 minus VO1. So the value is GM RD into VD. So the fourth step is VO by VD. I am bringing this term in the left hand side. So VO by VD is GM RD. This is the value of AD. So differential gain is this. So now we have to find common mode gain, which is given as AC. So we have to find this parameter now. Now we have to note that we have this circuit. The input side we have VC. 
so this is the common voltage then we have drain side we have source side now we have to note that i have made the dc voltages as ground we have resistance rd and 2rs up till now it is clear now you have to note that dc voltages are ground but this rs is not infinity so now when we draw the mid frequency model rs would be present so let's draw that in the left hand side we have gate in the right hand side we have drain now at the bottom we have source now the source and ground are connected to each other via 2 rs so from gate to source we have one voltage plus minus vgs from drain to source we have one current that is gm vgs now from drain to ground we have the resistance rd so drain to ground we have one resistance rd and the output is taken from here so this is the vo now in input side you have to note that nothing is present so we have one voltage vc all right so let's take a quick recap what we have done is from the gate side we have only one voltage vc from the drain side we have one resistance rd and output rd resistance output from source side we have two rs resistance so from source to ground two rs and the compulsory components now let's find ac ac is vo by vc so we have to find vo and we have to find vc vo is very simple so output is taken from here so you have to note that the current flowing is minus gm vgs all right opposite direction and the resistance is rd so this is the value of vo so vo is i into r i is minus gm vgs r is rd so up till now we have found ac is equal to vo by vc and we have found vo now our task is to find vc now we have to note that vc is a very tricky part so take a special care so the first point we will say that vgs is vg minus vs all right second we will say that you can know that at the gate side we have one voltage that is vc so the gate voltage is also equal to vc so that is the our second point vg is vc so the gate voltage that is vg is equal to vc third point is vs you have to note that vs is the voltage present here you can note that v is equal to i into r so the current flowing here is gm vgs gm vgs and the resistance here is 2 rs so first step was finding vgs vgs is vg minus vs second step is to find vg third step is to find vs now we have to substitute 2 and 3 in 1 what will happen vgs would be equal to vc minus gm vgs into 2 rs now let's take this side to the left hand side now what will happen vc would be equal to vgs plus gm vgs into 2 rs now let's take vgs common 1 plus gm 2 rs all right so this is the value of vc now we have found vc also so ac is now equal to minus gm vgs into rd upon vgs 1 plus gm 2 rs now you have to note that vgs vgs cancels so the final answer for ac is minus gm rd upon 1 plus gm into 2 rs so this is the value of ac that is the common mode gain so the last term we have is cmrr so cmrr means common mode rejection ratio it is equal to mod of ad by ac so you have to first note that this is a mod so positive value would be present and the ratio is of ad by ac so this was the cmrr term so let's take a quick recap what we have done up till now we have studied the circuit of mosfet debo using that we have done the dc analysis to find the terms gm vgs id then we move forward to ac analysis in ac analysis we have found the two terms ad and ac using that we can find cmrr so this is the overall flow to friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out